Hey, excited. <laughs> Christina Ricci never been on the show before. I'm excited to. Have you watched her show, Yellow Jackets? Have you seen it? <laughs> Massive smash. If you haven't seen it, it's, it's about a, a girls' soccer team are stranded in the wilderness after their plane crashes. Reg, who, would you do well in that situation? Plane crash, we're all stranded. Would you do well? Yes. Really? <laughs> Why? Uh, I, think I'd, I think I would immediately get to planning. I would, like, assess the health of everybody, and then we would take inventory of all of the objects and things strewn about in the crash, and then formulate a scheduled tiered plan in order to ensure survival. <laughs> OK, but be honest, right? Yeah. Be honest, OK? Let's say, I don't know, let's say Jared, right? Let's pick Jared is severely injured okay. in, the, in the crash. Right, classic and Jared. He's, he's lost a lot of blood, right? Yeah. Does your brain go where mine goes, which is, we are going to have to eat someone. <laughs> We've got the fire going, Jared's like, ah, I just need him. We're like, yeah, we, we'll just get it now. Nothing. Not even dead? <laughs> you know, I think on The Walking Dead, that's, they eat people on that, right? Like, ah, ah, right? No one ever starts with the <laughs> First thing I'm eating. That is the first thing I'm eating. 100%. <laughs> but I never understand it. And it is, for me, for me, that is absolutely the easiest part of the body to sever and eat. <laughs> yeah. And they're, like, gnawing the face. I'm like, dude, there's no flesh and protein there. <laughs> Look at Rob. Look at Rob. Rob. Rob just put his face mask over his eyes. Is this a problem? Are you not allowed to talk about this on CBS? Probably talk about it. I don't know if you should talk about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but I, and, then, and then I'm going cheeks. Then I'm going bum cheeks. I think you start cheeks. You start cheeks. Yeah, the like, that's going to be stringy, stringy meat. I don't think it's... <laughs> I mean, amazingly, this is the show. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> On, I'm as shocked as you are. Uh, well, look, that's cleared that up. It's time. It's time for the news. news. And it was announced today that the Biden administration is formally withdrawing its vaccine mandate for large businesses effective tomorrow. This comes after the Supreme Court already shot down the mandate earlier this month. I gotta say, oh, I was really hoping that Biden would appeal to like the even Supreme Court. <laughs> they got that in America. This is like, I don't understand. This is like me announcing today that after careful consideration, I've decided to withdraw my intention to play for England in the last World Cup. <laughs> Very complicated. The Biden administration attempted to invoke the no takesy backsies clause, but was ultimately defeated by the Supreme Court's precedent of no cuts, no butts, no coconuts. <laughs> In other news, Pfizer announced today that it's begun testing an Omicron-specific vaccine. Woo! Look at that. Even the boosters are getting boosters. Yeah. <laughs> Vaccines are basically becoming like iPhones. Just when you think you've got the latest one, they drop a new one, it comes out, and that's the one that everybody wants. <laughs> Do you think these are strange days that we're living? We're basically living in a time where a brand new, life saving vaccine can be developed in like five weeks, but it's gonna take you 15 months to get a new dishwasher delivered to your house. <laughs> Moving on, London police announced today that they are investigating parties held by Prime Minister Boris Johnson that may have <laughs> violated coronavirus lockdown laws. Johnson allegedly threw parties for himself in 2020 when people were not allowed to gather indoors. Now, before you get too angry about the party, I promise you, I promise you, nobody there had a good time. <laughs> How do you even investigate whether someone had a party in mid-2020. Are you like, were you or were you not at Party City buying balloons 600 days ago? <laughs> I think Boris Johnson bought this on himself, I do. You're gonna get investigated for throwing parties if you constantly look like you just did a keg stand. <laughs> what goes on at a Boris Johnson party, do you think? What goes on? Uh... Probably like a lot of people laughing, like you know that kind of like. <laughs> 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 like an afternoon at Louis in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Louis, what do you think a Boris Johnson party would 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 feel like? I think it'd be awesome. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't what? know. I just don't... <laughs> it's the first thing that came to my head. A friend of mine went to. What do I to... think? It'd be... I think it'd be really boring. 
I agree. Yeah. I it Although I say this, a friend of mine went to. Although a... I do think. I was. <laughs> no, no, no. It's... Doesn't it's matter. On. I mean. Although I do think. I, I, I I'm going to carry on. A new tra what? I know I'm going to carry on. <laughs> I do think there would be some quality cheese. And that's it. You thank can carry on. That... Thank God you carried on. Well, I yeah. Thank God we went back to hear yeah. something which will almost certainly be cut from the show. Well, I mean, is what you were going to say that great? It was better than your cheese but thing. But was it? No, I'm not going to do it now. It was better than your cheese thing. I don't believe you. <laughs> Interesting story. According to new research, more than half of Americans already have a resignation letter drafted and saved for when they hit their breaking point at work. The other half plan to quit by telling their boss to go f themselves in person. 59% <laughs> of Americans have a letter ready to go. 59%, except for a few, are like, oh my god, did I just press send? <gasps> oh my god, no. Saving resignation letters for when they hit breaking point at work. Winnie, don't even bother. I can see it in your face. <laughs> <laughs> and has everybody heard about this? Two fans of the actor, Anna de Armas, are suing Universal Pictures for allegedly misleading them into spending $3.99 a piece to rent the 2019 movie yesterday. Apparently, Anna de Armas appeared in the trailer but was not included in the final cut of the film. You've got to admit, Universal's brilliantly evil plan to make an additional $7.98 work like a charm, <laughs> didn't it? And now they've filed another lawsuit. They claim that Vin Diesel's character, Dominic, is fast, but nowhere near furious. <laughs> this isn't the only time a studio has used Anna de Armas to promote a film she's not even in. Uh, and sometimes it's been incredibly obvious. <laughs> Look, we do it every day. It's the best we've got. Give me a break. <laughs> and finally, we want to show you this. The retailer Dolls Kill store... That's the store, Dolls Kill, is selling a new pair of $115 sneakers that look like, well, it's pretty obvious what they look like. Have a look. Look at that. <laughs> you know, there, they're not sneakers, snackers. Hit me, Guillermo! <laughs> 100... $115. It's a lot of bread. Hit me, Guillermo! <laughs> The sandwich sneakers are already available to purchase, but personally, I'm waiting for Kanye to drop the 36-month dry-aged cheesies. <laughs> That's the news. We'll be right back with more of the Late Late Show, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.